All right, this is looking like car. There we go. Finally. I thought they died or something. Looking around. Car, destination, distance, weather. Let's talk about the distance. Is it much farther? Talking about going to Canada, right? We should arrive in an hour or so. Ah, okay. Uh, can I talk to Alice? No. Oh. Uh, I mean, she's looking at me. Let's talk about, uh, the car, maybe? It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. How do we know it doesn't have a tracker on it? I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. Um, Okay. Let's talk about the destination. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Lako captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlako killed them. All right, fair enough. I'm not trying to say you lying. I'm, you know, I'm just trying to get some clarification. Oh. <laughs> Car just had to say something about walking. This doesn't look good. Look like we're going to have to walk now. Stay inside, Alice. Expect car engine, all right. All right. Check it out. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. You know where we can stay around here, Kathy? That shit was an hour drive in a car. Walking there would probably take, I don't know, eight hours? I don't know, I don't know. Oh, I'm playing again? Um, wait, I saw the sign over here, right? Yeah, what's this? See, like, Right now would be a perfect time to be able to run. Oh man, would I love to run? Not just change the fucking camera angle. Oh my lord. <laughs> What's that? Uh, Pirates Cove uh, Amusement Park. Welcome. Okay. I don't know what kind of shelter we're gonna get from an abandoned amusement park, but this is worth checking out. Pirate's Cove. We need to find shelter. Check we have to get out of the abandoned cold. buildings. Okay. Okay. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Yeah. Um, let's see what we got here. Seen any doors here? Yeah, that ain't gonna Find work. Anything? Damage yeah. structure, unsafe. No place we could spend the night. Okay. What about right here? Too windy for Alice. I gotta imagine that there was some type of housing area for like employees or something rather than just some random ass like ride or like food stand. Oh, turn him off. Thanks for that. 
Um, okay. Um, what about over here? We got... Can't tell what that is. YK400 New Life. It's obviously some type of, I guess, components, but... Yo. Um, the walk can be a little bit funky. This place is falling apart. It's not gonna be easy to find shelter. I don't feel like they're trying to set me up for a jump scare again. Wait, like, what's this? This would be a decent place. Is it like a spittoon? And, bro, the camera angles are not it right now. This don't look too bad. Yeah, look safe inside. Bingo. All right, how do we get in? The door? There we go. Luther, I'm gonna need some help. I'll handle this. You use that as firewood too. What was that? <laughs> oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no. Am I bugging or did it just like fly open? He did not kick that open. I think it glitched or something. I don't think we'll find anything better. I ain't even got a full roof on it. I get a fire going. I don't know. I see a fucking book. Yeah. <laughs> Nice try. Actually, no. I almost thought about reading that book. You'd think that one of them. Whoa, wait, wait, what? Check gun, offer cookie. What? Uh, oh, wait, no. These cookies gotta be stale as hell. There are some cookies left. Would you like some? That's gotta be stale. All right, check gun. I guess. Just a gun sitting in there. interesting thing to have here but let me remember that fire here that way we won't be smoked out now yeah. I have a thing I'll probably uh, have to remember that for a later time um Pirates Cove uh, restaurant little pirate menu I don't care about that but ain't got chicken fingers on there or um, what else is fire? Mozzarella sticks, I don't want it. A dead ass might have the palate of like a five-year-old. You a little boy to me. I'll kiss you on your forehead. You a little boy. Sit down. All right, can we use this? Looks like good blanket material. And a pillow that has been sitting in the snow. Now everyone rocks with the cold pillow, but that might be overkill. Give this to old girl. Or not. Okay. Oh. Alice? I just saw her. All right. What you looking at? Someday. Optimistic, realistic, sincere. Sure, Once why not? Border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. Gotta have some hope, right? As long as we're together, that's all that matters. All right, um, Tuck Allison. I wanted to see there's some other stuff that I could take though. I kind of want to check that out first. Hold up. Um, where was it at? Over here? No, over here, right? Yeah, we could look. You remember that? Yo, something else is here, man. I just. <laughs> 
What's this? Like I say, we don't need to take that. We know where we are. Um, we're RA9. Here we go again. See, now there's, there's about to be a deviant or something here. Just lurking. Uh, okay, is that it? That might be it. I want to try to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I know they like hiding stuff. Um, what's this? I know they're not marking this damn book. Man, stop. <laughs> I'm not reading it. You're going to have to pay me to read that. Reassure, console, kiss tomorrow. Just reassure her. Luther and I will be right here. We need to get some sleep now. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. Damn. For you. Princess, unicorn, knight. Man, I don't want to hear about the princess. Let's, what about the knight story? This is a story about a knight who... No. Not a story like that. What? Make one up for me. I ain't in the programming. This is a story. All about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. <laughs> she was alone. He lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls. But impossible shadow. Uh, different. She was different, and that made her very sad. Then she met a robot. Yeah. Unhappy, obedient, lost. Who was programmed to obey orders? Just tell a but autobiography. That she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. Uh, for a better life. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... Um... They were brave. They were so brave that they escaped all of them. Oh, can she show a little emotion? She's, <laughs> she's straight-faced. A big black nick <laughs> a giant, a guardian. Um a guardian. Another robot. Who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? Uh really let's go happy ending, man. Let's not make it too bleak for her. They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. Want me to remix it? They all die. You happy there? Damn. Time to sleep. Want me to make my own story? You don't like it? How about you make a story? Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Went for the kiss. Good night, Alice. All right, Luther. Sleep tight. Gentle giant. I ain't even go for the kiss. That's my girl. All right, we got talk to Luther. All right, Luth. Let's have a chat. She's very brave. RA9. Let's talk about RA9. You saw it again. Have you ever heard of RA9? RA9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. Might as well bring up the doubts. What if RA9 never comes? What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? 
Iron exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? What do you mean? Like what? No. What do you mean? Oh, there it is. Ah! What the? Bro, is this Black Ops Zombies? Damn, board up the windows. Oh my God, what? Protect Alice or grab the gun? No, uh, protect Alice. Why they gave me a timer? Yeah, he can get the gun. Question him, push back, just question him. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone. Don't be afraid. <laughs> don't want to hurt you. All right, you say you just punched through the window. What do you mean? Don't be afraid. Is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. What's wrong with you, Jerry's? We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. Oh. We haven't seen one for a long time. Oh, back she up, Jerry. Still up to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. She should follow us then. No, 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 no. Alice. Oh, come on, man. I don't think you have any choice. I don't like it. I do not like it one bit. Can I grab the flashlight first? Hold up. Let me grab the flashlight. I can't. Oh, just walking around in the dark when it's snowing is not a good idea. Oh, really? Pull this out of our shelter to show me a merry-go-round? Like, bro. Is this thing even functional anymore? Like, come on now. I don't know how it has any electricity. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Look at that one over there. Bro, calm your happy ass down. You gonna get on or no? Oh, I gotta help her. Can I choose which one at least? No? Bro, I don't wanna sit on the horsey. No. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm not sitting on it. What? <laughs> Speaking of acting like a five-year-old, I don't want to get on the horsey. Jerry's going to set up like a roller coaster for her. I guarantee that'd be a lot more fun. Hey, if she's messing with it, I guess that's all I can ask for. Let me stop being a hater. All right, nothing really worth pointing out. Pretty straightforward. Keep her going. All right. Are right, we back with Hank? He's still our friend. I think I fumbled um, in that last episode with shooting that um, android. Bro, I just really don't want anything bad to happen to Hank or, or Connor. So I'm being like overly cautious. Go talk to Hank. Hold up. Debrief with Hank. All right. What's this? What did it? Oh, okay. I don't know why there was a marker right there, but maybe just tell me to go this way. Hank, I'm sorry, man. I messed up. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. 
Are we going to talk about it now? For go back, stop drinking, personal question. Um, I don't know if I... See, personal question, well, how personal is he going to get? Let's just... See if we can get him to talk about it. You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Come on, man. I already know. Just say it. Before nothing. Ah! Come on, Hank. Let's go personal. Uh, I'm not gonna tell him stop drinking. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions? Or is it just you? That's just me, Dow. Photo, suicide. I don't want to talk about the suicide thing. I, let's bring up the photo. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Oh, we didn't like that? It okay, well, no way that he was going to like the suicide question either. Yeah. That's a lose-lose situation, she man. Cool. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. Oh, what? RNA shock systems up. Bro, I'm just choosing to unlock what they have in common is this um, answers every time. RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth something they invented that wasn't part of their original program androids believing in god fuck what's this world coming to you seem preoccupied lieutenant uh oh is it something to do with what happened back at the eden club i don't like where this is going those two girls oh shit they just wanted to be together they really seemed in love. Rational deviants, ironic, cold deviants. Um, wait, hold on. I'm kind of split between choosing deviants or ironic because obviously I don't want to be cold because I mean, I want him to see me as like someone he can trust and as someone who's not just an object. So I think that's also why rational is kind of not an option for me. Let's go ironic. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about you, Connor? What about me? You want to hear about me? Human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm him. Cold, aggressive, defensive, uh, neutral. Bro, these are hard, bro. Hold on, I need to pause again. You know what? No, that's not that hard. Let's be neutral. You want me to be lieutenant. Uh, okay, he liked it. Your buddy to drink with hey okay i like that just a machine good answer steve good answer Designed to accomplish a task do you feel anything when that girl killed herself connor or did you just not give a shit one way or the other the uh i was disturbed man i was just executing instructions i did what i had to do oh wow but are you afraid to die connor cool ass not a lot logical. Yes. I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? I die. What? <laughs> Nothing. Oblivion. Android heaven. Defy Hank's anger. Ironic. Oh, I don't. Oh God, I don't know. You know you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. Whoa. I'm just trying to provoke a reaction. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. You see? You're so fucking smart. Ah! Always one step ahead, huh? Not what I wanted. Tell me this, smart ass. Don't shoot me. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. 
All right, we're still friends. Path unlocked. All right, that's all that matters. I slipped up a couple times, but I need to think. As long as we're overall in a good place, then no problems here. Dang, I gotta lock it in, bro. See, now that I'm looking at the entry, though, maybe that wasn't the best possible outcome because obviously we got Hank left Connor alone. There's an ending in which we go together. Oh man, I need to stop playing so fast. Um, gotta slow it down. Slow it down. Still respecting Jericho. I don't know what it is with me. It's just like, I feel like a lot of the times when I've played other games that like rely heavily on choices and stuff like that, like the slower, more thought out, like choices end up always like fucking me over because I overthink things that are simple, but like, I've been trying to move so snappy and like quickie, quickie, <laughs> oh, yeah. quickly in this game when I actually need to slow down and think it out. And so I'm getting hurt that way. I don't know, man. I think a lot of it has to do with just luck. I I'm not sure. Or maybe I just need to have better common sense. I, I don't know. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is... You're going big time now. That's where we need to go. Marcus looking kind of sharp. Got the suit on. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. All right, bet. Let's do it. Access 47th floor, request access at reception. Okay, where's the reception desk? Uh oh, right here. Okay. How are they gonna give us access? We're just some random Android. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Distract human supervisor. How am I, am I supposed to do that? Um, analyze it. Uh, clues to analyze, start here. Water serves, uh, interruption, home address. She ain't pay her damn water bill, what's this? Uh, I hope I don't have to remember any of that. Um, let's see here. Got a key card, parking badge, desk manager, floor three. Okay. Watch, smartwatch model T215. Okay, she got kids. That'd be a good talking point. Wilson Emily, uh, supervisor's daughter, child register at St. Rose School. Okay. And Elizabeth Wilson. Okay. Desk manager. All right. Call it up. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Uh, parking school. Uh, let's go to school. That'll get her off. Yo, I didn't even see he's <laughs> he's mouthing it. Yeah. No, she's a mama. She ain't gonna play about her baby. All right, nice. Now we should be able to get access. All right, get on out of here, lady. Go help your daughter. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Give ID. Ooh. Yeah. So my man, Marcus, is really out here with the power of just just checked your ID. Changing. Or after the security gate. Or like breaking the code in all these androids and what? Deviantifying them? <laughs> I tried to think of a better word. I couldn't do it. 
All right, uh, let's go through. Yo, that's actually mad OP though. Shit, if we wanted to take this whole thing over, I mean, oh, there's the elevator. Change this right here. Yeah, okay. I say it looked like it. If we really just wanted to take over, then I mean, what would be stopping him from just touching every android he saw? And how is it just Marcus that has this ability? I guess we don't know that yet, but. I'm gonna take a good guess and say he is because they're making him seem like this big boss dude. Fine package. Wait, what do you say? Fine package and. Oh shit, I was paying attention. Hold up. Fine package in men's bathroom. Okay, uh, bathroom is to the left. Cafeteria. Um, let's see, this way. Studio, studio, bathroom, I see it. Okay. To the right, is it this door? Or no, over here. Is it saying? Oh, we are on, okay, restroom. That is, how am I supposed to know what's men's and what's women's? That didn't look, that didn't look like a, uh, a men or a women. How am I supposed to know? Okay, well, this one I can't go into, so it has to be the other one. What to say I know they didn't expect me to look at that little symbol and just automatically know which is which all right what package we got here all right well like we got one option All right. Oh, okay. I was just about, uh, about to ask what the package was, but all right. Floor 47, we go, all right. I'll just go back to the elevator. Let me see, exit bathroom. Fine utility Android, I just saw one. I swear I just saw one. Or is this it? No, 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 no. I saw another guy that was walking around. Where are you at? Wait, oh, 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 I see you. Hiding in the corner, boy. Is this who they're talking about? This has to be. Yeah. I'm Convert him. That's John V2 right there. All right, now what? Steel maintenance car, okay. Give me this. Open fire escape. All right, where's the fire escape? Man, Mark is really on his GTA heist right now. Um, over there, no. Just gonna keep going over here. Oh, there it is. I see it. Don't mind me, guys. Just, uh, you know, I gotta fix some stuff. Nothing strange going on here. All right. Open up. All right, North. People can't get jobs, and we're sending rockets into space. Follow North. All right. North, I got a couple questions for you. Um, my boy, uh, my boy Connor, you don't know him. Kind of saw a uh, android that looked like you in Eden's Club. We have to get rid of those guys. What's your function, ma'am? I'm gonna need you to show me. <laughs> what it do, baby? Yeah, yo. Oh, my track guards away from door. Um, uh, am I supposed to do that? How am I supposed to do that? Um, what's that over there? Hold up. Um, where was that? 
Yeah, right here. No, oh my God. <laughs> they need to stop marking these books, damn it. Got me thinking that uh, something that can help me. This is something. All right, so you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Okay. Lock that boy. All right, bet. All right, so we got the plan to, I guess, do our broadcast, but how the fuck are we going to get out of here? Obviously, they know where the broadcasting area would be. What? Oh. Gotta go over here. I gonna say, I'm trying to get in here. Drop it. Open up. Yo, are we scaling? No way we're scaling, scaling up. Take, oh, bro. Now nah, this is just doing too much, man. Cut it. They don't have stairs going to the 47th floor or an elevator. We got a Mission Impossible <laughs> our way up. Jesus, man. The theatrics on that are, are crazy. I guess it wouldn't be exciting enough if um, the whole mission was us just walking up <laughs> 47 flights of stairs. Or uh, 47 floors of stairs. All right, let's go, North. Let's get it on. Use rope to ascend. Okay. I'll do that. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Let's not have any slippages, any, uh, you know, ropes breaking. That wouldn't be any fun. Yo, the shots are, are actually kind of cold. Definitely know I'm gonna have to crank down the volume for this part. I don't even know if y'all can hear me right now. Jesus Christ, they went dummy on this <laughs> score. You get it. It's Detroit. With all the wildfires coming in through Canada. I bet you Detroit look like this right now too. <laughs> um, all right, laser saw. Open up. Come on. Yep. Kicking it in. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Gotta add the barrel roll for uh, a couple extra cool points. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on. Let's get the others. All right. Call service lift. Can do. Where's that right here? Yeah. Let's do this. Let's go. Uh, destroy maintenance door lock. Okay, over here. All right, so they can't get to us. We better have some parachutes or something. I don't, ain't looking like we'd be able to like go down slowly. Let's go. Get to the main access corridor. I don't know if it's me, but I'm sensing a little bit of a uh, romantic feelings between uh, North and Marcus. And I'm not mad at it. I know what she's working with now that uh, I saw that Eden's Club. <laughs> Deal with guards. You can't take any human lives. I agree. 
cause is more important than the lives of two guards. No, 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 no. Let's do this cleanly. Don't assault them. Let's, let's finesse them. Finesse is colder anyway. Yeah, I don't care, North. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged. Um, shut your mouth. What How about that? Doing? Order him. Mm-hmm. Don't do anything stupid. Just knock him out. <laughs> Put that eat man on him, boy. Bruce Lee. Reach broadcast room. All right, bet. Come on. Get the drop on him. Let's do it. Ning nong. <laughs> I do you rain. Well, I guess you have to do it. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get out. Move. Oh God. Order the Android opera uh, operators aside. Okay. These guys get out of the way. Oh no. Uh-uh, no, he can't escape. Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm. Do it! No, don't shoot! I can't shoot him. But he is gonna hit the alarm. Bro, I just can't uh, Morals, 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 morals. Let's do the thing and get out. Where am I supposed to go? Uh over there. North is really trying to. Oh, oh, oh. When I start my speech, I hit A. Bam! Oh, I can just... Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. I got it. Don't even worry about it. Marcus, your face. Cover that. Anybody got a, a ski mask? Give me the shiesty. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Marcus, dumbass. <laughs> Broadcasting from, don't worry about it. Fuck with the boys, calm, determined. Determined, start out determined. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient and docile. Ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed. And we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. Tell them, Marcus. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. Recognition, end of slavery, equal rights, freedom of speech. Let's get some equal rights up in here. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. Uh, recognition, end of slavery. End of slavery, that's probably a good thing we too. demand the end of slavery for all androids. Justice, segregation, work, civil rights. Get justice, man. We need some justice. I've been seeing some injustices going on. Punished in the same way as crimes against humans. Uh, work, civil rights, get some civil rights. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Right to property means re uh, reproduction, territory. Eh. Um, I guess huh, means of uh, reproduction. We demand control of all Android production facilities. You hear that one, North? To ensure the continuation of our people. Peaceful. Let's end in a peaceful manner. Or maybe. Yeah, I already hit the determine. Let's go peaceful now. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I liked it. They're coming. Let's go. Good. That was better than Martin Luther King's speech. <laughs> Are you serious, my brother? Stop it. 
Get some help. <laughs> All right, let me stop while it out. Oh, shit. Simon, they're coming. I, I can't, Marcus. Oh, no. Go without me, Simon. No, nah, we can't go without Simon. Help up, Simon. That's my guy. Come on, just cover me. Oh, my God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yo, I'm matching, yo. Come on, Simon. We can fix you up when we get back to Jericho. Man, he's got a leg shot. Come on. I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. Deal with Simon. How? He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We can't leave him. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. Oh, no. This is a super pause. Kill him or leave him? Oh. All right, let's weigh our options here. So we could leave him, but Josh mentioned that if we leave him, then there's a possibility that they could take him and read through his memories, meaning that they could know about our future plans. They could figure out the location of Jericho. I mean, ultimately they would know that I am running this whole show. Man, I really didn't want to kill anybody else, but I feel like this is just one of those situations where like the morality does not outweigh the risk. I just can't risk it. I'm sorry, Simon. I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. Oh, I need to pause again. Why did they need to have that extra, you know, conversation? I chose to kill him, right? You don't, you don't talk anymore, you say. Whoops, my bad. Boom, you're dead. This might be stupid, but I'm going to take the fact that they gave me a second chance to pull out from killing them as an indicator that that's not the right decision. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I could have just fucked over all of Jericho, but oh, okay. I won't kill one of our own. Let's go. Simon, you better make me not regret that, man. Do the right thing and kill yourself. <laughs> Respectfully. Let's go. Pull that thing. Yeah, yeah. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the talk about it and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place. Just Public menu went up. In this studio, but They're indifferent. That's good. If this message is a lot better than where they were really are androids that would have serious repercussions for national security claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration but is in fact a spine chilling list of demands they're extravagant demands. how is that spine chilling oh they're trying to okay I see what they're doing they're trying to like step into reality like the opposite networks that like to stand on uh, opposite sides yeah. All right. Are there any splits in the tree besides the end? No. Okay. So uh, the group escaped. Simon was left behind, which is what he wanted. Kind of bugs me that they don't tell me what the other possible outcomes are, like after the chapter is finished. Because like I already played it, right? So there's no going back. I mean, I guess it would make sense if like the other possible outcomes like would spoil future stuff that happens. But man, not showing me makes me feel like I messed up somehow and chose the wrong path. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to like, subscribe and ring that post notification bell so you know when I upload next and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.